What's up guys, it's Pam, I'm back. Uh, I'm actually going to be running through uh, a little thing that I want to start. It's a, uh, I'm going to call it In My Head. Uh, I did another one of these. Uh, this one's actually on Frost. So yeah, let's get right to it. So I believe I go over to the A area uh, right now. Yep, I go over to the A area because most people on this map go to the A area. It's just the most popular area. Right now, I'm just trying to get some information on where he is. It is, it is a 1v1. So I'm just trying to get some information, not trying to go for the kill or anything. If I see him, I'm obviously going to kill him. Uh, so since I didn't see him there right off the rip, I checked mid. And after that timing, I just put down the timing. And yeah, he was like right there. So I just checked mid. And I figured if he wasn't at both those spots, I just, yeah, looked over here. And yeah, that just I just happened to get lucky. <laughs> so I'm on offense, and I actually have no idea what the fuck I did I'm not on this. And I think I won. I think there's a few funny moments in here though. I play slow on offense on this map. I, I just figure out like it's easier. Um, yeah, it's just easier to play slow on this map. I feel because it's an awkward map to maneuver your way around. And then I see him right there. I like from what I took. I took notes. Last round, I didn't actually take fucking notes, but like, I noticed that he played fast last round, so I was kind of riding on that, and right now I'm just changing my fucking thing, but I was just kind of like riding on that, like the fact that he would play fast, and I could play back, and he would just run right in front of me, and that's what happened, so I took a little bit of a risk, but it worked out, and I think right now, and I think right now, I start off late, yeah, so I start off about 10 seconds late. Uh, and that could be crucial in Call of Duty, in esports in general. I figured since I started off late, and if he is A, then I could get behind him by doing a wall run. But he was not planning, so that was unfortunate. Was it 2-0? So I flank mid, right? I'm right here. I'm just flanking mid, uh, checking, just looking around, see if there's anyone. And boom, I just see him right there. Uh, one, one thing you should know about 1v1s is it's... Most of it is luck. Like... I know, I don't want to say most of it's luck, but you definitely have to be lucky, and I got lucky these past three rounds. Um, besides the first round, that was really just timing on my side, but um, yeah, there's definitely a certain amount of luck that you need to have in order to win 1v1s. Um, I almost have Kinetic right here. Score streaks are actually disabled, so I don't really care about getting that. Uh, obviously, I start with a, like a five second like late. And this one, I decided to change things up. And I decided to play fast mid. And that was bad because he was playing fast too. And he just happened to check mid. And he was shooting bodies when it was 3-1. Which really got me fucking pissed. But <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so yeah, that didn't really work out for me. And you should note that um, Call of Duty is... Uh, it's one of these games where you have to think. I'm not, not not a lot of people think you do. A lot of people think it's just a running gun. But like, you really do have to think with certain Call of Duties about what you do. And like... With all esports, you do. You have to think about what you do, what you, like how you do it. And I'm being really dumb right now. I think because he thinks I play slow, I could play fast and I could get away with it. He was playing back with an MD4. That's definitely like he deserved that round. I was just being really stupid. Um, you know, and uh, really playing back. I'm not, I'm not saying playing like a pussy. I hate the term playing like a pussy because it's like I'm just playing back. Like I play slow. I'm a slow player sometimes um and then other times like i'm just very thoughtful with my actions and right now i'm pretty sure i decided to play back at first i thought i was going to do that but there were too many variables to wall run so i played back here and like with all the variable like when there are too many outcomes for you to count like you get killed from too many ways i make sure there's not more than one way they could possibly kill me from and if there's more than one way, I dip out of there and find somewhere where there's less than, uh, more than one way. And obviously it worked out. I just, like, I hoped that he would play fast. I went back to the spawn, because he flanked spawn that other round, round two. He flanked spawn, so I thought he would flank spawn again. So, yeah. Also, take, like, don't take notes, but, like, observe how your enemy is playing. Like, that helps. Like, these are just, like, kind of deeper tips for, like, people who are just getting into esports and stuff like that just like realize how your uh, opponent is playing it really helps i swear so i check mid because he's playing fast mid usually uh i made that probably didn't hit anything 
And I believe right now, I just had to play fast mid because it's like a slow, fast push, which is kind of weird for me because I don't usually do that. Um, but yeah, I'm just watching over right now, trying to get some information. Anything I could get would be fucking amazing right now. So yeah, right now, I think he's going to go B because I just, he didn't plant A yet. And like, he's a fast player. I thought he was going to plant A really quick because A is mainstream. B, you know what I'm saying? So he's not there. So I decided to go to my handy mandy spot. Over here, it's a great spot. There's a yellow pole in my way, so I back up right now, I think. Yeah. Um, so if he does plant A, my prediction is that he's going to go across the wall run and just back spawn, see if I'm rotating from B. And guess what? That's exactly what fucking happens. Look at this shit. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now, I decided to wait here for five seconds because it does take time. It's not going to happen immediately. Um, just... Whenever the bomb gets planted, a lot of people usually change what they're about to do. Or whenever something... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's about to happen. Uh, uh, yeah, I lost the round. But whenever the bomb gets planted or something very minor happens in the round... The bomb being planted is a big thing in the round. But, like, whenever a little thing happens in the round, people tend to immediately change. Like, just play slow. Think about everything you're doing. Don't do something just because something else has occurred. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just calm down play slow i don't know what i do this round i think i lose this round i don't really know i was just hoping he would push up this because he haven't done that yet he hasn't done that yet so i thought he was gonna try and be unpredictable and just push up that unpredictable or unpredictable it's unpredictable i planted the bomb because i was really close to my kinetic armor if i got my kinetic armor that was basically a free round for me um so yeah now i'm pretty sure at this point if i get a plant or a kill or a fuse i'll have kinetic armor I'm just sitting in the corner, just hoping that he doesn't come by and defuse bomb or anything like that. I'm very paranoid when it comes to defusing bombs. And notice how I don't fucking charge him. I hate when a lot of kids do this. If you have bomb planted, there is no need to charge. But he charges me, and I was being stupid. I was waiting too long. I should have just dipped. But, like I said, I was kind of paranoid about... Don't check bomb too much. That's another thing. Don't check bomb too much. Don't charge people when you have bomb down. You know what I'm saying? Just And now I know that he has his specialist. And that's a big thing in the last round. Uh, I was really worried about that. But I got my kinetic just in time. All right, this is, we're closing out the game. We're getting to that point where the game is about to close out. Uh, I decided to play slow again. So I just check mid real quick. And this is honestly a stroke of fucking luck. Yeah, that's just, I decided to do that. I remember I was in one of my strats videos. Um, I checked mid and then I would check that little lane. But then I would, uh, I would go to B and I would head glitch that airplane. You know what I'm saying? Or I would I would lay down on the pipe. That's what I was about to do, but I wasn't even going to check that. He just played super fast while he went right in front of me, which was fucking genius. And I'm pretty sure I win this round. I don't think it goes to a round 11, but um, I win this round. I decided to play slow because I was just, I don't know. My friends were over and um, I was really nervous because everyone says I suck dick. <laughs> um, so my, I was just being really nervous. I was playing really slow. Uh, this was only an XP match though. But anyways, uh, I was just playing really slow. I decided if he sp flanks spawn again, why can't he do it? You know, one more time. So I'm just playing slow right here, as I said, a hundred more times. And I see that I'm really close to kinetic right now. So I decide, fuck it, dude. Like I have another round to spare. You know. So I decide to go for the B plant because we haven't planted b all game i don't think he's comfortable with b that much so i decided if i plant b i could get my kinetic so i go for it i end up getting it at this point i feel safe because i have my kinetic uh i check to see if he's wrapping a most people will wrap a and look what happens here i think he shows up right yeah i go to check the bomb and he shows up right there i pop kinetic as soon as i see him but he uses his specialist he pops back out i kill him clockwork you know uh but yeah that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed i hope this helped you out with like skills or anything like that uh if you let if you want more of these like uh with doubles or triples or you know threes just let me know uh, i'm i like doing these these are fun um but yeah guys that was the video i'll see you later peace the fuck out uh leave a like comment do all that good shit i'll see you peace